to cover things that friends say and do. But what happens when you want to end a friendship because your friend is overweight? My guests today say their chunky chums are too much to handle. They're here to confront their heavy friends and say, you're too fat to be my friend. every day. But would you dump your best friend because you think she weighs too much? Be Vicky. She says she's fed up with her 280 pound friend Diane who's waiting backstage. Vicky, why do you want to end this friendship? I'm embarrassed to go anywhere with her. I mean, she goes to the beach and thinks she's just got it going on at the beach and she don't. You know, we go dancing and after a few drinks she just gets out there and like thinks she's the whole thing. You know, I'm embarrassed. But then how is that a reflection on you? I mean, if she has a positive self-image, I mean, shouldn't that be helpful towards you? To a degree, I guess, but I'm embarrassed when people make comments. You know, I mean, she just, like, looks over it, but, you know, I mean, she lost weight, so I know she can do it if she wanted. Do you feel like dumping her as a friend is going to make her lose weight? I don't know whether or not that will, but I'm hoping it'll do something. So you're doing this for her own good? Yeah. How long have you been friends with her? Ten years. Let's meet Diane and talk to her. Diane, come on out here. Hi, Diane. I have to say, I think I speak for everyone. I mean, we were all in shock when she walked out because she is a very attractive woman. Vicky, who wants to end, end the friendship? I just, I can't believe that um, you want to have a 10 year relationship with me because I gained a few pounds. Yeah, I was da -da -da. I grew up heavy my whole life and I did lose weight at one time, but I gave it back. That's just, I have a slow metabolism. That's, it's yeah. no excuse, Diane. <laughs> uh, you were down to 170. It's no excuse. Yeah, but you're trying to control my life and you got to get your life under control. You know? <laughs> excuse but why does she even have to make excuses to you if you're her friend you're supposed to stand by her through thick and thin no matter what she weighs <laughs> I mean, I love her, you know, I do, and, and she's a good person. You sure have a funny way of showing her. That way is a problem. Yes, yes, ma'am, stand up, please. Hi, um, this is my best friend, and she just lost 60 pounds, and I was friends with her when she was heavy, and I'm friends with her now, and I love her to death, and I would never, ever make her feel uncomfortable, and if she, she never used to go out with me. She, I used to have to beg her to go out with me because I wanted to spend time with her. And she would never go out. Now she's going out and she has a great time and I don't know what your problem is. Do you feel like it's a threat to you now that she's lost weight and she's oh, more attractive? No, oh, why would I think that? She's my best friend. I would never. No, not at all. There's no competition. <laughs> yes. I just want to ask you, what if you lost your arm and she gave up your friendship because your arm was gone? Well, we're not talking about arms here. But we're I'm saying, it's a change. She gained yeah. weight, she changed. She's going to stop being friends with her. Yeah, she's still the she same person. She doesn't do it. it. But why is it affecting your life? Yeah, Vicky, has, I'm embarrassed. has she okay, been... I'm okay. embarrassed. Vicky, has she been a good friend to you? She has been years? a wonderful friend. She has helped me through a lot of things in my life. And I mean, I love her to death. But I mean, I know she can lose it. Okay, y'all look the same size to me. <laughs> <laughs> It's true that she may weigh maybe 50 pounds more, but it seems to me that both of y'all need to go on a diet together. That way y'all can stay friends. It's him. She might be heavier, but she has a better attitude. I'd rather be her friend than yours. Diana, I'm concerned. I mean, this is 
just been a good friend to you, does this this must really hurt your feelings. Yeah, it well it hurt my feelings. I've helped her through a lot of problems. She had drug problems and and she you know, she like she's she's trying to get her own life in control and she's trying to control other people's lives. And you say that you love her unconditionally, except for her weight. I didn't say I could just I'm just saying I know she can lose the weight. She joined joined a gym about seven months ago. This is just an example. Okay? Has she gone to the gym ever since she joined oh, oh, one time? <laughs> I mean, that, you know, I just know she can do it. I, I she looks but gorgeous. She's gonna want to do it for her. her. She can't do it for you. Yes, ma'am. If you really say you should, just, you're her friend. You don't need her. You don't need her. If you need someone better, I'm telling you, she's a, you know, if you want, you can do better than to be a friend. Well, I know you're all dogging on me because she's she's been a really good friend to me, really. And it's just she has this white thing, and she, you know, I don't go dancing with her or whatever. I don't want to embarrass her. But um, she'll do. She'll be there. If something happens, and then I call her up. She'll know I'm not saying her weight doesn't address the comments people make. You know, people are really crude when it comes to heavy people. But then you should be there by her side when these comments are made. You should not be the one ditching her. <laughs> It shouldn't be your job to leave her when she needs you. She needs you. She, you were, she was there for you when you had a drug problem. She stayed by your side. She didn't say, I'm giving up. You're giving up on her. Yes. You shouldn't have to make excuses or change how you feel because she has a problem with your weight. You're saying that she's been a good friend to you and you embarrass her. That's her problem. That's her insecurities. That's not yours. You're a happy person. Let her go. She's been a good friend. And she's know. a beautiful woman. <laughs> She hasn't been a big friend, okay? She's saying that you embarrass her, and she's trying to change your outlook, okay? Don't let her change your outlook. Thank you, sir. Yes. I'd like to know, do you want to lose the weight? Do I want to? Sometimes. I just have a busy life, and I really don't have time to go out and exercise. I did join the gym because I thought I would have time, but I work two jobs. Okay, can I ask you a question? I want to know, instead of discouraging her, why don't you encourage her to lose the weight if she wants to do it? I am. I'm willing to go to the gym with her. I, I told her let's go together. Down and not helping her you know? and telling her, oh, well, I'm not going to be your friend if you don't lose the weight. That's not helping her. Right, but when she goes to the store and only buys sweet stuff to eat, I mean, buy some food. I'm not. Yeah. I'm willing to help her. You are willing to be there yeah, for her. Yeah, I'll go to the gym with her. We'll eat good foods. I mean, I eat junk when I'm with her. I don't blame her for my weight gain. I've gained like 40 pounds. So it's just hanging out with her because all we do is eat. Well, hopefully we can work out a way where you guys can do this together, save the friendship, and hopefully lose the weight if you want to. All right, up next, her friend says she's a human wrecking machine because she's too large. Does size matter when it comes to friendship? Find out next. <laughs> your mate to the person you were cheating on them with? Are you ready to come clean and let your lover meet the other man or woman you've been messing with? If so, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. One friend in a lifetime is much. Two are many. Three are hardly possible. to end their friendship because their friends are overweight. Backstabbing, rumors spreading, and man stealing are all legitimate reasons for ending a friendship. Well, what about overeating? Big Nikki, she says her 350 pound friend Tiffany embarrasses her by eating too much. Nikki, what's the problem? Okay, Ricky. Well, Tiffany, she's a good friend now, but she eats too much. One time, you know, we was in my uncle's tracker. And she got in there. What's a tracker? Oh, a car? A geo tracker. A geo tracker. Okay. And broke the seat. <laughs> and then one time we was at my mother's house. Well, after I had my son, her and my cousin came over. And she was sitting in a chair made like this. My mother has chairs like this. And she got stuck. <laughs> and basically, I just want her to lose weight because. No, no, no. You, it seems to me you don't want her to just lose weight. You want her out of your life. You don't want to be friends with her anymore. She, well, she needs to 
health-wise to me. Oh, so it's about health now. It's not about you being embarrassed. It's about I'm health. embarrassed, yes, truly, but it's just that her weight, you know, it's overworking her heart to me, you know. All right, let's let's meet Tiffany and talk to her. Tiffany, come on down here. <laughs> for being here. What what do you think about what she's saying about you? I don't care what you're talking about. <laughs> she got the problem. It's not me. Okay, I'm overweight. Yes, we all see this. But she knows she knows me she she has known me since I was this small. Okay, I've been overweight all my life. So why should why should it matter now? I'm grown. Ask for that. Why not? <laughs> What's that, Nikki? Because of health. I mean, you know, being a part about. What does breaking the seat of your uncle's chair have to do with her health? Yeah, Nikki. She's too big. But dang, you had to tear the whole Ricky Lake show up the track? Yeah. So, hey, well, that should tell you to go ahead and lose weight, man. You know Tiffany, how, how does it make you feel when she puts you down when you're in public together? Okay, it hurts a little bit. Because I've been talking about all my life. Grammar school, preschool, high school, now. So, what people say to me really don't matter to me. You know, I, I'm sure if she could snap her fingers, she would want to be skinny in a second. But... That's just not the reality. And if you're her friend, you should support her, no matter if she's 300 pounds, 600 pounds, or 60 pounds. Yes, sir. I agree with you. I think that um, Nikki and the other woman, all they've said- Tiffany. Tiffany, excuse me. Uh, all they've said about the other women, the, the more heavier women, is negative things. If you try something positive, maybe they would do something for themselves to lose the weight. But you've got to give them some positive, you know, positive reason to do so. Yes, ma'am. I have a question for the two so-called skinny ones. What about if the wheels were turned and you were the overweight one and they didn't want to see a public with you? Because you're a little skinny, but, but you're not me. skinny. But still, she's your friend. I mean, can you... I think what she's saying, can you put yourself in her shoes? I've been fat before. Yeah, she's been fat before. So then you should go. <laughs> then you should know what she's going through, Nikki. But I wasn't that big. No, she wasn't that big. But she was fat. <laughs> well, there's, there's someone else that has some, something to say about this. It's your cousin, Lindy, right, Nikki? Uh -huh. She's here, and she actually takes Tiffany's side. Let's meet her. Lindy, come on out here. <laughs> Lindy, thank you for being here. I understand that you're embarrassed by Nikki, by what she says to Tiffany. Yes, I am. First of all, because... Their friends, because of, when, when I say because of me, it's because Nikki is my cousin. Okay, that's how they became friends because, you know, we're close, close family and me and her are best friends. So that's how they got together. And it's embarrassing to me because if it's not just us three, it's a lot of us in the mall or something, and she's making little crazy comments to her, it's like people looking at me like, well, this your cousin, this is your best friend. Y'all, you know, why y'all always be together, keep them together if you know she don't act like this? So what do you want to say to your cousin? Basically, Nikki, it's all bull, okay? Because we've been together and friends so long. It's just like how they said before, why now? It's like, okay, first of all, we've done, you know, we've all been on diets. Me and Tiffany joined health clubs before just to be doing something, basically. Like Tiffany said, she's been, you know, heavy all her life. So evidently, if we did all this and it still ain't no different, she the same, she's happy about it. She, you know, that's the only thing. She's not ugly. She's not a bad person. She, she, she puts herself together beautifully. Exactly, and this is her every day. She has a good attitude, you know, as far as her stuff. Like I said, she got a cute face. She work. I can see if she was just a big slob, sit on the couch and don't care about just eating, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going, what's the next segment on all my children? Just keep eating, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like that. Correct today.
today. They're they're taking the right the right side of things. But yet, when when Nikki was out here before Tiffany came out, she was talking about how she broke the tracker seat, and you guys were laughing when she broke the chair. You were laughing. Can I please explain? Yes. Because this is my track at my home. This is how it was. It was basically Tiffany and Nikki true enough Tiffany was in the front seat and she is happy and it, it you know it matters when a heavier set person but no I'm not saying like but um, it was a song came on you know when you kicking it at the you know you're like hey, hey, hey. <laughs> friendships because their friend is overweight. A good friend should stand by you through thick and thin. But what happens when you think your friend isn't thin enough? Hey, Trevor, he says his friend David weighs over 350 pounds and he can no longer deal with the sneers and jeers that go along with being his friend. Trevor, tell me, why is David's weight a problem for you? Well, Ricky, I do love him dearly. He is my bestest friend in the whole world. And the fact that he, you know, is putting his own health at risk, and he has his mom at home, she's really obese, she has compressed discs, she's on oxygen. Do you think that would set an example for him to try to not want to be that way? And as his friend, I feel like by just hanging around and not saying anything, you know, really not being a good friend. And I want to basically just end the friendship so he doesn't have to keep on eating, not have something that's gonna push him. I try to invite him to the gym. We go, he stands on the line for the treadmill, doesn't want to go on it, just throws his arms up. He goes works out with Richard Simmons and um, maybe once a week, and I call him at night, he's always eating fast food, watching maybe six hours of videos. Well, I mean, let me, let me just try to think how maybe David feels, because I know, you know, the way I am today, I don't feel comfortable going into a gym and getting on a treadmill. So for him, who's, you know, 350 pounds, There's imagine how people, challenging that is for him. There's a lot of heavy people right, at the gym. We go slow. I said, let's walk around the block. I've gone to his house and walked his dog, even, while he sits at home and watches TV and eat. So you are willing to end the friendship for his sake? Exactly. And if he wants to commit to a program, I'd be more than happy to. All right. It all over. Let's meet David and talk to him. David, come on out. <laughs> Hi, David. Hey, Ricky. How you doing? Pretty good. You, you're shaking your head. What? It's just, it's just so misleading. It's like he makes it sound like he's, he calls me all the Oh, let's go, let's go. It's not like that. He makes it sound like you eat all the time, but you know when you eat, it just seems like someone calls you and it always seems like the time they're calling you to call me. I know, it just seems like it that way. We, we're good friends, we're like best friends. We used to live close to each other. Now that we live a little farther away from each other, we try to get together all the time when we have time off, but my time off, I don't want to do the things he's doing. You know, go to the gym is not, you've been to the gyms, they're stupid. They're so pathetic. <laughs> I mean, everybody there is so anorexically ugly. It's like, it's just so, it's just so ill. It's, 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 what, do you, what do you think about the fact that this, that this best friend of yours wants to end the friendship because of your weight? That, it's sad. It's really sad. But I know he doesn't feel like that. I just know it. It just... I, I know I don't feel like what? I know that you don't want to... 
give up what we well, have. You just going out because... with you. I put on 20 pounds, and I'm not blaming you. I but when we get not. together, I love to eat too, and I feel like if we maybe spent some time apart, and if you wanted to commit to a program. But do you actually think it's because of my eating? That's I don't think it's because of the eating as much as it. Well, I love getting together with you and eating. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, no, that's for it's sure. Wonderful. I, I love that. That's for sure. Uh, well, I mean, last night. <laughs> Me. But I out eats but I me. But I do go to the gym, you know. I like to do rope. And I do like too, that. but your gym is not my gym, and you won't go to my gym. Well, that's kind of far, you know. Uh, it's kind of far, yeah, and your gym is way out of my way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, what do you want to say? I just have a comment. I feel that other people need to bring others down in order to build themselves up. You feel like the, the, the skinny, so called skinny people are trying to bring put the other ones down so that they feel better about themselves. Do you agree? They agree. I, I don't think that about Trevor. I don't, I don't think that about Trevor. I don't think he's putting me down to make himself feel good because he's not that kind of, he's not that way. He doesn't have that low self-esteem. Is it true that the furniture has been broken in your house? Well, yes, my parents have a really nice antique bedroom set that he came and sat on. And the legs are It's cheap. It was it's really cheap. thick. They put I'm sorry. How many, I might as well have wicker. I mean, <laughs> come on. Because she put in a joke like the other people used to, you know, get a laugh. And now it's, I guess it's for a laugh too, but a lot now I think this sounds crazy, but it's more like kind of care because it's like she's still tipping now, not as much as jokes now, but just for herself because she is getting older and it's like, you know. And it hurts. I mean, whether like it was funny or not, it still right. hurts. Right. Yes. Okay, Ricky. Last night. Last night. We had a scary feeling. <laughs> okay. Tiffany got sick. And we have to take Tiffany to the hospital. She's having real bad chest pain. So she asked the doctor, did some of this contribute to her weight? He says, yes. That's my biggest fear for Tiffany, too. That, you know, she overworking her heart. And we all young, and I don't want to see, you know, her go down like that. It seems to me you don't want to see her at all because you told her you don't want to be her friend anymore. I just want, maybe, I feel maybe if I tell her that, sure. maybe she will try to at least move something. Yes, Tiffany. Let me tell you something. She ain't talking about, okay, yeah, she was there for me last night, but where was we going when I started having them chest? Going to eat. Going, going to, to eat. eat. Going to eat. Going to eat. Going to eat. Trying to find something to eat, and then I started getting chest pains. All right. Now, who fought with I, I don't see the connection, but, but maybe you guys do. Need to take a break. Coming up, his friend says his friendship is on thin ice because he's too fat. We'll really get the cold shoulder. Find out next. I think David seems like a lot more fun to go out with than Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> the differences between friends cannot but reinforce their friendship. <laughs> friendships because they say their friends are too fat. Hanging out with a friend can be fun, but what happens when you think your friend is hanging out of their own clothes? Meet Brian. He says his friend Chris, who's backstage, has gained too much weight and cares nothing about his appearance. Brian, tell me, how does the way Chris dress affect you? Well, Ricky, 
like uh, if we go out to the show or uh, to eat, Chris comes downstairs with like an open flannel shirt and then a, and a small shirt under that that shows his like rolls and everything. So wait, so you are willing to end the friendship because he wears his shirt open? No, that's not that's not the only reason. What are some of the reasons? <sighs> when I try to tell Chris that you know his weight and you know come in contact with like health problems or something, he tells me, well, I think I look fine, so I don't, I don't, I don't think I need to lose weight. Let's so. see how fine he looks. Chris, come on out here. Jealous, that's all. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, hi, Um, To all the skinny friends, okay, I think that you all have a complex problem because you might, you're afraid that you might end up looking like them, but let me tell you something, they're beautiful people compared to you. Thank you. I'm sorry, Ruby. I have to take side with the skinny friends. I mean, the last couple of you guys are rather large, you know, and it's just kind of like birds of a feather flock together. And if you're with friends who are kind of big, you know what I'm saying? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to commend you for being honest and saying what you really feel. But, but do you think that's the best way to help them to lose weight is by dumping them? Well, I mean, maybe that'll help them. because they're fat, right, and, and because of health problems. Now, what if they died and, and you ain't around, then when you find out they're dead, then you're going to feel guilty that you didn't stick around and help them out. Yes. When you're, when you're someone's friend, you're supposed to love them unconditionally. That means their interior, not their exterior. And everybody that's so-called skinny says you're embarrassed of the so-called overweight. I'm sure there are habits that the skinny people have that the overweight people are embarrassed about as well. Thank you. What are you going to do when you lose your best friend? When you do that? Yeah, you lost me. You lost me. I knew it was right. I never needed him. Really? That's the truth? He was never really your friend to begin with? That's not what I know. Uh, that's cool too. Are you gonna be okay without him? I'll be okay. I was okay when I was first met. <laughs> oh, well, do you need a date, Chris? Seems like there are ladies out there who would love to take you. You don't want to take them in this tight clothes. Man. All right, coming up, an outspoken TV star is ready to give our guests a piece of her mind. Jackie Guerra is next. Don't go away. <laughs> your fiance before you get married? If there's a secret you can no longer live with before you get married, then you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. Wherever you are, it is your own friends who make your world. Friendships destroyed overweight. Meet Tamika. 
says she can't wait to end her friendship with Dominique because according to her, Dominique is too fat and lazy for an 18 year old. Tamika, tell me, why are you gonna end this friendship? Well, first of all, Ricky, let me give you a better perception. Uh, we're students at South Carolina State and Dominique lives in a boarding house behind McDonald's and Wendy's. And yes, of course, you know, Burger King has the home of the Whopper, but Dominique is home of Wendy's. But um, basically all she does is she'll eat eat and then sleep. Dominique, basically, I'm the cook. Sherry, one of our friends, she'll, you know, buy the food and Dominique is always, Tamika, what are you cooking? Tamika, what are you going to do? So what, okay. so you want it, because she likes food, you're willing to end the friendship? She likes to eat, but see, when, I, when we're together, basically in the house, we never go outside together. Um, Why is that? Because basically, well, if we're out, like we had a physical science class, I went over to the pit. Give me some of those fries. I need to have some. It's like a, it's like a crack addiction that she needs to have it. And let's let's meet Dominique and talk to her. <laughs> meet Dominique, come on out here. <laughs> Wait a minute, Tamika, are you crazy? She has lost a little bit of weight. The girl is not bad. You are not fat girl. Thank you. <laughs> and second of all, I'm 18 and I go to college, and I know how hard it is to try to lose weight on a college campus. Yeah, there it is. is McDonald's, Sabaros, everywhere you go. Sweetheart, it's so well, hard. we exercise. She doesn't have to look on. She can join in right along with us. I don't want to see her get too big. But she's she's she looks like she's smaller she's than you. I give it. <laughs> Well, you know what? I need a little help here. My next guest is the star of First Time Out on the WB Network. She certainly has no problem expressing her opinions. Please welcome Jackie Guerra. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Jackie. Please help me out here. What advice do you have for our guest today? Well, first of all, I just want to say that this audience is unbelievable. And you guys are absolutely right to be cheering and going on with the people who are up here being attacked by their friends. I think... Um, Tamika, you said it best, and what we've seen all morning or all afternoon long is people being prejudiced. That's what this comes down to. People have, a, these people have a real prejudice against their friends. And I say the word friend very loosely because I'm not so sure these people on the panel are friends. <laughs> things going on. One is, if you're concerned about someone's health, then I think you have a responsibility to share what information you have that might be helpful to the person. But the more important thing is that nobody in this country on this earth has the right to judge you for what you look like, what your gender is, your talent, your religion, your sexual orientation. Nobody. The least of all, friends. Because friends are people that you let into your life. They're not bestowed on you like your family. You choose your friends. You guys need to make a choice. And, and do you think, I mean, do they have a right to say about the health? I mean, they keep slipping in, it's because of your health, it's because I care about you, yet they're willing to dump them right here today. I think it's a disclaimer. You know, health has a lot to do with your emotional and your mental health, too. It's not just about physical. And your physical health often reflects your mental and emotional health. And I'll tell you, I was bulimic for 13 years. For 13 years, I had my head in the toilet, in and out of treatment, ODing on diuretics and laxatives. Was I a better person then than I am today? Absolutely not. The day that I decided to stop living up to someone else's standards and trying to be someone else's idea of beauty, <laughs> it's the day that I got happy. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Do you have friends like these ever? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't call them friends. I had acquaintances like these. <laughs> I, I, get, I just have to say it's amazing to me, especially in Vicki and Diane's case, where you talked about helping your friend through a drug problem, and I doubt that you helped her through her drug problem by ridiculing her and ignoring her and judging her. It was with a lot of love and a lot of encouragement, and that's what you need to do for her. 
I'm sure you've battled a weight problem all your life. And what did you say to me? I said I can relate to the people that are overweight because I'm very skinny and I want to gain weight. And I get the same comments as that I'm too skinny. So, and when people comment on it, it hurts my feelings. So I can relate to you guys. Yeah, I used to have a roommate that was really, really thin. She's under 100 pounds. And she used to be roommates. And she's always cold. I'm always warm. So it's like, it was the worst roommate situation. But she tells me the same thing that she gets rid of too because she's too small. She wears a one or a zero. Yeah. I mean, and so, of course, we don't go shop the clothes yet. That's right. right. <laughs> scared, you don't scared. share clothes either. Jackie, if you could talk individually, I mean, what can you say to Tiffany and her ex friend, Nikki? Tiffany, I gotta say, you have a great attitude. You go. <laughs> Lindy and Nikki, I'm really sorry that you can't get with it. I think that your attitude towards Tiffany is more about you. I think that you know you seem to be really concerned with what people say and what people think. What do you care what people, what somebody thinks about how your friend looks? Unless you're out looking for a three-way. I don't think that there's much. <laughs> Tiffany has a really, really good attitude, and I think that. Tiffany, Diane, all you guys on the panel, you know, uh, David and Trevor, I think David seems like a lot more fun to go out with than Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a great picture to see David and Tiffany in that Geo Trackers kicking it with everything. <laughs> to thank you for all your great shows uh, which we enjoyed watching it in my grandfather. Oh, thank you! Do you have a comment you want to say about the show? Yeah, I just want to say what kind of friends are you um, if you look at the size and not the inside. Good, good friends? How can you be a good friend? Anytime, anytime you have a friend that comes and asks you how, how do I look in this outfit? I think I look too fat. They bring you into it anyway. Brian just perceived it. No, I'm not perceived. <laughs> I, I, I just feel like every time you bring me into it, I'm going to comment about it. Yes. I just want to say, I find it's really hard to come by, and I don't know what you guys are going to do without your friends if you lose them. It's their loss, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I got to say, it's insulting to me that you think that he is too overweight and you think that she is too overweight. They're jealous. That's all they <laughs> yeah. Nobody's jealous. jealous. Are you guys doctors? Of course not. Thank you. Thank you. They, they, you want to say to the man, yes. I just want to say a friend in need is a friend indeed. So if you all could still kick together, that would be very nice. <laughs> I just want to say, um, it doesn't matter what you say, it's how you say it. And that's how you can be a real good friend. I see you waving at me, yes. What do you want to say, ma'am? Uh, I think all the people on the stage should take a lesson from each other. I think if you value your friendship, you not only don't need them, but you also protect them and help them to lose the weight.
like paper cups, razors, cameras, and contact lenses. One thing that should never be disposed of is a good friendship. Remember, when you become friends with someone, you have to like the whole package. It's what's on the inside that matters the most. Am I right? I'm right. I'd like to thank all of my guests for being here, especially Jackie Guerra. Thank you so much. And to you at home, thank you for watching. See you next time. Promotional fees have been paid by the following.